This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Okay, so Boosie, uh, he is thanked by Dwayne Wade, first of all, for criticizing how he was raising his child because it started a conversation that was able to push forward. Uh, Dwayne Wade wants to have that conversation so it's a better world for his child. That's what he said on a recent show. Then also, Wendy Williams was very critical of NBA Youngboy. And uh, NBA Youngboy's mom reacted to the situation. But Boosie came in and defended uh, NBA Youngboy for, he said, uh, Wendy Williams, stop. You did a hot 21 keys of, <laughs> of white girl uh, before your 21st birthday. All the way till your amazing tumble. Free the goat YB. Now, young boy is facing five to ten years on gun, on weapons charges. Um, he is not under Rico, which is good. So, he has a chance. And, you know, it, this might... You know, as weird as this might sound, this might save his life. He was living real fast. Accomplishing a lot. But living real fast, and sometimes that can be real dangerous. We've seen that with other rappers. Maybe it's good he slows down for a second, recalibrates, comes back out, and kind of cleans his image up a little bit because he's got a lot of people that depend on him. He's got a lot of fans that his music helps. And, you know, sometimes you can't live that fast, man. You know, slow down a little bit. So Ja Rule, scammer. Fire Festival uh, NFT sold for 122000 It's a piece of art. I'm going to be honest with you. That money better go to the people that weren't paid to do a lot of work for the Fire Festival that never happened. Uh, the biggest uh, scam festival probably ever. Okay, I know he had a partner in crime. Ja Rule, to me, just as guilty. He was a part of it. There's no way you're in all these videos promoting it and s pretending like you're setting everything up. It was all great until it all fell apart and it didn't work because you weren't uh, paying attention to everything that's going on. He's just as guilty and he should probably send some of that money, probably all of it, to people who uh, had pain and suffering from the fire Festival. Um... Yeah, I'm waiting for 50 Cent to react to that one. <laughs> then we got DDG. This is the danger of having a public relationship. DDG and Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose, I don't forget who she signed to. She signed to L.A. Reid, I think. And, you know, they're pushing her on the blogs and everything. And they have this relationship with DDG, who's a popular YouTuber, now rapper. And she's saying literally blocks... I literally blocks every rapper in the industry who DMs me like, damn, just want to make music. I don't know how another guy feel about me. She's saying that DDG like took her phone and did all this stuff. Uh, she said she loved him for real, but it's just too much now. He deserves to be happy, and so do I. He wants to chase uh, girls that want money for, uh, you know. <laughs> he wants to chase each, you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm not the one for him. This guy uh, don't want to be with him, blah, blah, blah. She said he just took my phone and posted that weird stuff. But you, were, you were leveling up being with him. She went out with him to level her career up. DDG has a huge following. And, you know, she kept chasing him when he was doing other stuff. And... It's just a, it's just a weird, it's kind of a spooky situation. But DDG, you know, he's, he's in it for social media clout. Uh, we know what D DDG is, DDG. Okay, <laughs> he's doing everything for social media and everything, and he seems to be taking rap seriously. Uh, you know, he's been for a while now, and he's being successful at it. Um, Bobby Schmurda shouts out NBA Young Boy and Casanova and says, "Free the guys." Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll check you guys later.